How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and I just unlocked Soulbound Diana. If you don't know who Soulbound Diana is, she's right there on the main menu of Brawlhalla. She's also the final tier that you get in the battle pass, the skin, the epic skin. You get the epic skin, which doesn't only include the epic animated weapons, you also get brand new custom signature graphics. So when Diana does her signatures when you're using this skin, they look way cooler than normal. Also, I got the Exalted Lion title, so that's pretty cool as well. I normally don't change my title from Partnered Creator, because obviously that's like my favorite title, but I think for just this episode, we're going to change it to Exalted Lion to celebrate completing the battle pass. Now, as you can see, I've already decked out my account in Halloween uh, because it's that time of year. And I know the Brawlhalla Halloween event hasn't happened yet, but I'm already on that. So we <laughs> are all Halloween. So, all right. It's a brand new ranked season as well. So I figured we might as well play some ranked 1v1. I haven't started this season 22 yet. So let's do it. Soulbound Diana in ranked 1v1 for the first time ever. But first, let's look at her lock-in animation. Very cool, very dramatic. And let's like take a look at her colors real quick, which honestly are kind of a hit or miss. Some of them look really good, some of them not so good. Also keep in mind that her face doesn't normally just always look like she's in pain like it does right now. Like for instance, when you lock in, she's smiling. You know, looks looks a little bit better to be smiling than, than whatever face she's making right here. But yeah, the colors, I like some of them and I really don't like others. Uh, probably you guys will agree. Let me know in the comments which color is your favorite. Lovestruck looks really good, of course. Black. Now, I don't have every single color for Diana, I don't think. Let me, actually, I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't have eSports version 2, so if you really wanted to see eSports version 2, we would have to go into the image render tool, it only takes a second, and we can just go like this. Boom. There's eSports version 2. You can look at all the colors yourself right here. I gotta say, Coat of Lions <laughs> looks good on every skin! Alright, let's 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 not waste any more time. Soulbound Diana. I'm gonna go default colors for the very first game and uh, default weapons and all that. When I play Diana, I typically use base stance as well. I think she has really good stats. And wish me luck, this is ranked 1v1. While we're waiting in the queue, here's some of her signatures. You can see like the neutral sig, you throw out a book, down sig, there's like a lot of ghosts and stuff coming out. Look at the blaster sigs. Oh man, all the souls that come out. The neutral sig is like a book with a spirit. So cool. It really does fit the Halloween theme as well. Alright, first game. Rank 1v1! <laughs> Please don't be a loss, right? That would be so embarrassing, but either way, it's all good. I don't put so much, like, pressure on myself to win the game. Like, I do really want to win the game, but it's okay if you lose. Because even if you lose, you can still have fun and, you know, just play the game and enjoy it, basically. So, I let him get the weapon because I usually like to do that in, in any, uh, Brawlhalla match that I play. Ooh, God, put that down, Sig! Ooh, I don't know if I want to play off stage when he's got a scythe. Dude, this guy is hard to hit. Or am I just bad? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I really thought I could hit him with that down air, but I hesitated. Oh, gosh. Nice, nice. Starting to feel it. There it is. Let's go. He was doing so good on me at first. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm so nervous anytime I play rank, guys. Like, it may not sound like I am, but oh my goodness, I get so nervous. I don't know why. I've been diamond 20 sometimes. Like, you would think, it, it, you know, the nerves wear off, but... And I'm going to throw out a lot of sigs because I do love using them, especially when they look that good. Oof, nice down sig. He got me there. But we got him all the way to orange. 
on his second stock, so we're in a pretty good position here. All right, he dodges down very uh, wisely. But we can use that to our advantage because I have a beautiful down sig that we might be able to hit if we catch him in one of those dodges. Whoa, didn't think I would actually hit that, but we got it. Oh boy, another off stage. Oh no, no, no. This is why I don't like to fight Scythe off stage. No, not like this. This is a hard edge guard from oh, Nyx, no! Beautiful edge guard from T4. Now I have a hole to climb out of, not a problem. We can do it. Crazier things have happened. At least a reverse two stock is easier than reverse three stock, but it's gonna take a miracle at this rate. It would help if I could even hit him, oh my goodness. All right, all right. We gotta take this first stock no matter what. There it is, oh my goodness. All right, we got him to his final stock. Let's see how we can do. I seem to be doing better with the blasters. Okay, let me just throw him away. No, not a big deal. All right, now it's all about doing damage and not getting hit. Being very patient on this. I gotta climb out of this hole that I just dug myself in. Oh yeah, let's go Nyx. We're bringing it all the way back, baby. Oh, this is getting intense. Blaster duel final stocks. Nyx versus Diana. Oh, we're both in red. Oh, with the down sig whip. Uh-oh, that was really close. Oh, he did it the wrong way. Let's go! <laughs> we got him! GG, dude, GG. That was such a good game. Way closer than I wanted it to be. But we still got the win. My patience paid off. I had to really try not to get hit those that my last stock. Oh my goodness. Playing rank 1v1 is so intense. If you guys enjoy the video, please drop a like. I am so excited to have Soulbound Diana. And we're using the Exalted Lion title, which is also super exciting. Alright, let's do Soulbound Diana. We're going to do a different color this time. I really want to try Code of Lions, but it almost looks exactly like default, so I guess I won't. I mean, she basically just has the default skin color, but her armor is a little more red tin tinged? Tinted? I don't know the word. <laughs> Unfortunately, Charge OG looks kind of crazy. I don't know. It's okay. I wish her hair was a different color than her uh, horns and stuff. Gala looks good all the time, of course. I'm not really sure which color I want to do. Maybe Lovestruck. And the weapons are honestly too good to change, I feel like. Like, they're just so good. I will keep the weapons. Why not? One thing that I should do is I should show you guys all the previous Battle Pass Tier 85 skins because I'm sure there's some people that are watching this that are new to Brawlhalla or you haven't been playing since the very first Battle Pass. So hopefully I'll remember to do that after this match. All right, going against a uh, man, manlet or something like that. Ooh, I like that. Stop poking me on my head! This map actually does make it a little bit hard for me to tell like where the edges are of the map and stuff. But it looks cool so I don't really mind. This guy is pretty good on his spacing and his attacks. Like he plays very carefully but he also misses a lot of the time. He's really trying to hit me with that down sig. Ooh, or I mean that side sig. I don't blame him. It's a great attack. 
Wait, is he? Oh, okay. We're both in deep red. First stock. Oh, I thought that would hit. Get off of my stage, Barrage! Oh, that's gotta be it. No? The ceiling just saved his life. That's okay. I still like this map. Some people don't like it for that ceiling, but I actually like it. Uh, maybe I should have just done a neutral sig. I probably would have hit him. Oh, what a sneaky attack. Oh my goodness. Nice attack. I like that. <laughs> and then he dies from the helper. Yep. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> oh, man. Even though this map is making it a little bit hard to tell where the edges are, it still looks so good though, right? Alright, we gotta be a little more careful here because... I don't know how we lost that first stock. We gotta not take so much damage. Let's play a little better and hopefully get this win. He's having a hard time hitting us at all now. Okay, he finally hit us. As long as we do more hits than him, I think we'll win no problem. And we've been doing that this entire stock. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm so nervous still. Oh, goodbye. Alright, we took the lead for the first time. I just have to be a little bit uh, careful here. Oh my goodness. I did not mean to do that. Yo, I hit with the side sig. Ooh, nice hit. And I'm still alive. Let's go. Oh, I thought I'd get him with that recovery. Perfectly timed, ground pound. Final stocks, again. Ooh, that was close. Got it that time. Oh, I missed the down air. Oh, I thought he would down air. He's gonna side sig, no? Oh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye! Oh, he wants to play on the edge so hard. Oh. I'm taunting him to do a sig, like... If he does one sig, I got it. Oh, man! No! Oh! <laughs> GG, dude! GG, Mantellet. That's how it is, Mantellet. I had a hard time saying his name. GG, dude, GG. That was well played. And again, another victory with Soulbound Diana. Feels good. Both games have been very close, very intense, but in the end, we make it happen. Alright, let's do at least one more game, and of course this time, I feel like I gotta go black at least once. Black, you only get these colors if you get the legend to level 25, and you spend 25,000 gold to unlock the black colors. And, you know, I've worked hard, and I have black colors unlocked for every single legend in the game, so I feel like it's my duty to represent the black colors of Soulbound Diana in one more game of Ranked 1v1 for your guys' viewing pleasure. Can we make it a 3 P? I I hope so, but even if we don't, you know, we've already won two in a row, so I feel good. Because even if we lose this game, we're up two to one, you know what I mean? So, no pressure here, no pressure. Alright, going against Child Grabber. <laughs> Funny name. This, uh, this skin does look really cool, though. I like it a lot. This is such a happy song for a map that, I don't know, looks not so happy. Kind of funny. I could have done uh, different sounds with this map pack, but I didn't know if they were copyright, so I left the sounds. This guy has a lot of motivation to beat me, so we have to be very, very careful. <laughs> so far, he's destroying us. Apparently, I'm, I'm 4 and 0 versus him in ranked. I, I noticed that. But I don't remember him. Alright, we got the first stock somehow, even though he was like dominating us. The whole time, we still got it, so it feels good. Interesting playstyle that he has. I like that he's very aggressive. A lot of people don't play like that. Maybe throwing his weapon a tiny bit too much. 
Not doing a good job of getting some damage here before... There we go. I want to try to do as much damage as I can before I die. <laughs> That's how you win games, really. That move looks so cool! Oh, get out of here, Koji. Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost had that down sig off, but man, the down light on the bow is so far reaching. I like that bow he's using too. I think it's called the... No, actually I don't remember what it's called. But it is from another Koji skin, I know that. So this guy must be a Koji main. Ooh! Though maybe not, maybe he just likes Koji. Alright, we got a pretty decent uh, damage lead here. I just need to uh, take care of this final stock. Or the second stock that he has here. He's doing a good job weapon starving, kind of, but... Woohoohoo! Get out of here with that Koji! Alright, one more stock, guys. One more stock. We can do it. Oh! Oh, got him twice! Oh man, we are doing just fine. I think we're gonna cruise to victory here. Bye bye, get this Koji out of here. Uh, GG, child grabber, GG dude. All right, three wins straight up with Soulbound Diana in ranked 1v1 to start the season. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Brawlhalla content because I'm always putting it out there. I think I'm going to go ahead and change my title back to uh, Partnered Creator, just before I forget, though. <laughs> Hope to see you guys in the next video. But before I do, I just remembered, let's, let's take a look at the previous Tier 85 skins for the Battle Passes. So the very first Battle Pass, the Tier 85... Yeah, we're not going to talk about the, uh, the Squid Games. Uh, <laughs> I did a video on that yesterday. The very first Tier 85 skin was uh, Akuma no Koga Hattori. Look how amazing that skin is. You guys missed out if you didn't get the first battle pass, but there it is. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Retro Reaper Nyx. It was a synthwave battle pass. Here's the second tier 85 skin. Look how awesome that is. Another amazing skin. Look at this. The weapon skins, the custom signatures when you do the graphics. Oh, beautiful. The third was Aurora Brin, of course. One of my favorite skins of all time. Also amazing looking. And then finally... We have Soulbound Diana. Which is your favorite? For me, it's a really hard choice. Probably between Soulbound Diana and Aurora Brin. Though I really do also love Retro Reaper, Nyx, and Akuma Nuku. Eh, you know what? They're all four tied. I'll say they're all tied. I love all four equally. This is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.